Ibrahim Traore, the 35-year-old president of Burkina Faso, is capturing the hearts of millions of Africans with his progressive approach to governance. In a continent where leaders are often elevated to godlike status, Traore is challenging this mindset and emphasizing that leadership should not deify individuals, but rather humanize them. Now recently in celebration of World Blood Donor Day, President of Faso, Captain Ibrahim Traore actively participated in a significant blood collection operation. His involvement underscored his unwavering commitment to the public health sector in Burkina Faso. During a heartfelt address, he extended his heartfelt commendations and unwavering support to the vital stakeholders within the country's healthcare system. Captain Ibrahim Traore particularly lauded the relentless dedication of the National Blood Transfusion Center, CNTS, as well as various associations dedicated to promoting blood donation. Additionally, he expressed profound gratitude to the numerous volunteer donors who play an indispensable role in ensuring the availability of blood and related products in both public and private hospitals. Despite the commendable efforts made by Captain Traore, it has been emphasized that Burkina Faso's blood banks are facing persistent challenges, particularly with the recent increase in malaria cases. The demand for blood continues to rise, placing considerable strain on the current collection and distribution capacities. In response to this critical situation, Captain Traore issued a strong appeal to all Burkinabe, with a special focus on young people, pupils, and students in both urban and rural areas. He highlighted the vital role of solidarity in saving lives, emphasizing that regular blood donations directly contribute to the health and well-being of fellow citizens. Captain Traore highlighted the critical importance of donating blood and emphasized the need for a united effort to enhance the overall quality of life in the country. He passionately urged individuals to actively engage in environmental cleanliness by combating unhygienic conditions, eradicating stagnant water bodies that are favorable for mosquito breeding, and eliminating areas that serve as breeding grounds for larvae. Each citizen of Burkina Faso must take ownership of their health and that of others. By working together, we can create a future where no one suffers from a shortage of blood when it is needed, Ibrahim Traore said. Now you see, Ibrahim Traore has a unique approach to serving his people. He believes that as a president, there should be no limitations on the activities in which you can participate. Speaking about the healthcare sector, Ibrahim Traore has been actively involved in implementing significant initiatives. Notably, Traore has initiated the construction of a state-of-the-art healthcare facility, a project that amounts to an investment of $80 million. Furthermore, in a strategic move, he has collaborated with private sector entities for these endeavors, recognizing that governmental processes can be inherently inefficient. Also, if you remember a few weeks ago, in a significant development, Captain Ibrahim Troy, the leader of Burkina Faso, took decisive action to tackle the pressing issue of exorbitant healthcare costs in the country. Trory announced a sweeping initiative that will result in substantial reductions in the prices of essential medical examinations and procedures. This bold and far-reaching measure is specifically designed to alleviate the financial hardships faced by the people who have long been grappling with the unmanageable expenses associated with accessing healthcare services. The government's proactive decision to lower the costs of crucial medical examinations and procedures is poised to bring about a profound and far-reaching impact on the lives of the citizens of Burkina Faso. Given that the accessibility of healthcare services has been a recurring challenge, particularly for those residing in rural areas, this strategic intervention is seen as a pivotal step towards mitigating this long-standing and pervasive issue. By making these vital services more affordable, the government is unmistakably demonstrating its commitment to addressing the pertinent healthcare accessibility concerns and ensuring that all individuals have equitable access to high-quality medical care. Patients in need of dialysis treatment will no longer have to bear the burden of the exorbitant fee of 500,000 CFA francs for program integration. Furthermore, patients requiring three dialysis sessions per week will no longer be financially charged for these essential treatments. This progressive decision by the government aims to alleviate the financial strain on patients and improve their access to vital medical services. In a continued effort to provide affordable healthcare services, 
The government has also announced a significant reduction in the cost of hemodialysis from 15,000 CFA francs to a minimal 2,500 CFA francs per session. This reduction underscores the commitment to making healthcare more accessible and affordable for all patients. Additionally, the government has lowered the cost of MRI examinations from a staggering 100,000 CFA francs to just 40,000 CFA francs, further bolstering the endeavor to improve medical access for all. Similarly, the price of the scanner has been reduced by half, from 50,000 CFA francs to just 25,000 CFA francs. This significant reduction will make essential medical services more affordable and accessible to patients, especially those who previously couldn't afford them. For better understanding, this is what the minister in charge of this sector in Burkina Faso said. On behalf of the Ministry of Health and Public Hygiene, we have made an oral communication relating to a new rating of IRM scanner tests and demodelization acts. At the end of this oral communication, the Council noted a drastic, significant decrease in the rates of these tests and demodelization acts. As for the scanner tests, the average rate is currently set at 50,000 francs in public hospitals. From the end of April, the rating will now be 25,000 francs CFA, which is a 50% reduction, regardless of location, cost, and technique. As for the IRM scans, the average rate is currently set at 5,000 francs CFA. From the end of April, the rating will now be 40,000 francs CFA, which is a 60% reduction. As for the demodelization acts currently in Burkina Faso, if you want to be included in the active queue to benefit from demodelization, you have to pay a life insurance of 500,000 francs CFA. The council has decided to simply remove this 500,000 francs insurance. So from now on, from the end of April, patients in need of demodelization will no longer have to pay a single franc CFA to be included in the queue for demodelization. So when you are in dialysis, you have to do abdominal sessions on an average of three. For this, it remains free. And when you have acute renal failure and you need to have an acute hemodialysis, the session currently costs around 15,000 francs. The council has decided to bring this rating back to 2,500 francs CFA, which is an 80% reduction from the end of April. This drastic reduction is in line with the vision of the head of state, led by the government, which wants Burkina Faso to have fair access to quality services and care. In any case, we value your feedback. Please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing our content. Additionally, we encourage you to share your thoughts in the comment section below.